guys. I'm sorry we haven't been around for about a week. We um, had some family that was really struggling with some health stuff. And so we kind of took the week off and helped them. And so we were just really busy. We were just gone all day. And so we just kind of, everything just went on hold and we went and helped our family. So things are okay and we're back to our routine. So that being said, we have been working all morning in the garden, kind of cleaning up the old um, like summer stuff and getting ready for the next round of summer stuff. The sweet potatoes are doing really well. I pulled out kind of half of the tomatoes that were about dead. We have a few more still going. Planted some corn here, planted corn way back here. And then back here, everything's doing really well. We've got green beans and we've got a bunch of watermelon almost done squash you know that whole area has been really full and all this these areas these last areas we're just gonna um keep with wood chips so they stay really as moist as possible and the soil can stay uh keep as, as many nutrients as possible uh for planting later and we'll probably do like carrots and onions and all that stuff and then we've got our peppers here and our pumpkins are doing okay back here and then all of our little cantaloupe and watermelon are just kind of slowly taken off. In my experience, I've never been able to get watermelon and cantaloupe to really take off, like really take off until they're a little bit older. That's just how it is, no matter how hot it is. So it's been lots of stuff, a busy, busy, busy week. And now this week we're gonna get back to projects and everything that we have going here on the farm. So we've got a bunch of watermelon almost ready. This guy is almost ready, and I didn't put anything to hold it up because, see the size of my hand, these aren't that big of watermelon, and I think that he's going to be fine. So how we know it's ready is when this tendril dries up, and see how right here it's kind of drying up towards the end, but it's still a bit green towards the base. So I'm going to let this guy fully dry up, and then when that's dry we're going to pick him. And we've got another one right here, that one down there. Um, We've got one further in right there. We've got another one up hanging up here. And then we've got a couple more cantaloupe going. We've got to find those guys. They hide a lot better. And our pole beans are just climbing up into one big pole right here. And then we've got a bunch of squash going. It's a jungle in here. And all this squash in here. Who knows how I'm going to be able to pick all that. So we've got some cantaloupe. So you can see one right there. A bunch of others kind of sporadically around here. So, that's what's going on right now. Um, I'm really, really excited to get this area going. So remember, we started, uh, we covered this area, kind of solarizing the grass, and we're just gonna go get a tiller to be able to kind of just create rows, and then we're going to hopefully never till again after that, really. So, we've gotta actually, I think, bring in a little bit of dirt, too to raise it up just a bit. So I'm really excited because my goal over on this side is going to be able to be, um, to be able to plant onions and garlic and all that, like lots and lots of that going on. So that is it for us so far. Just getting back to gardening and life and concrete hopefully this week and, and pond digging hopefully really soon. So lots of stuff coming right up around the corner here. Good stuff. She's finding a little bit of shade from the umbrella. Hey goat, there's a whole bunch of shade from that tree and that tree and those trees. You'll have to have this little sliver of shade. All right. Got lots of compost scraps. You're making a mess. Doggies are excited. Go, doggies, go! Oh my word, those dogs. We got another dog with us today, too. This is Sherlock. Speak! I don't know what Trixie knows. Speak, you know, sit. Sit, Sherlock, sit. Good boy! Speak! Speak! Good boy! <laughs> I guess he does know those tricks. I didn't, I didn't, I just guessing. <laughs> All right, let's head out. Yep, goats are heading over. All right, it's getting pretty late here. Lydia's gonna start the milking chores. 
So, it's been a nice, uh, relaxing Sunday today. We drank our kombucha. I bottled my kombucha, kombucha a few days ago. So that's been fun. Um, just been really hot and I think this week, actually tomorrow, we have two people coming by, um, to give us quotes on the concrete. So, exciting stuff. Oh, there she goes again. Get out of here. Hey, hey. Go on. Get down. Get down. She really wants to eat Penny's food. So, not a ton going on today. Kind of relaxing from our crazy week. Um, but really excited about fun things that are going to go on this week and all the fun things we're going to do. I can't wait to get going on this concrete. Ethan's got loads and loads of dishes here. Having fun? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. We cooked a lot of stuff today. So check out my kombucha. Woot woot. So this is my little scoby that I dehydrated here. Um, I started with like a dehydrated, you know, cultures for health scoby. And then I made a batch and I let it sit for a month as it cultured. And then I got to do my first batch of kombucha about a week ago. And then that was bottled. And so now this stuff is super strong. Let me show you how strong it is. Okay, I'll show you. I'm gonna pop it. I am. I'm gonna do it. Woo! Oh! Oops, oops. I didn't think it was gonna spill. The last one I just opened 10 seconds ago did not spill. I just added more of a mess for you, so yeah, sorry about that. More jobs. <laughs> if you've never made kombucha before, it's super easy. Basically what you do is you make an initial fat of some kind of tea. Usually it's like a black tea, something that has caffeine in it, and then you'll make, if you make it like a sweet tea, and then you add the little kombucha scoby, which is like this little um, yeasty bacteria thing, and your goal is to keep the acidity high enough so then that way you won't have lots of bacteria, but yet it will let the beneficial yeast and other bacteria grow. So, I mean, I'm sure a bunch of you already made it before, but I'm just, I just got back into it again. Just kind of fell out of it, and I was like, you know, I'm gonna start my own batch again. And so these little guys have been sitting here for only about three days or so, but they have built up their own, their carbonation, you see that? So when we opened it, it, it popped. And so these are all ready to be put in the fridge now and saved until we wanna drink them. In our growing station here in the laundry room, I have planted all the corn already, so now we just have a few things left. I have some sunflowers and some Armenian, Armenian cucumbers that will be ready in a couple weeks here. Oh, that's it, guys. Thanks for joining us. Kind of wasn't a very long vlog today, but we're going to get back to it tomorrow, so you should see another video the next day. Thanks. We'll see you later. Bye.